It used to be a shunter on the railway for First Great Western. Well, it was Wessex to start with, and then First Great Western took it over. And then, due to ill health, I couldn't do it anymore, so I kind of got sickened off. to put me off, paid me off. Working nights or 12 hour night shifts or 12 hour day shifts, commuting from Peyton to Exeter. So, didn't know anybody, didn't even know the neighbours that well. But then, when that all finished because of ill health, then um, I sort of just didn't know what to do with myself. So, I had a couple of months where I'd got paid so I didn't have to bother sort of worrying about finances. And then it got to the stage where Job Centre was getting on my back. And I'd gone down to the co-op to get some milk and I'd, there was a pop-up cafe going on in the old sanctuary housing. So I popped in and met Nina and things have sort of like got better since then. Introduced me to different people, got me into the time banking where I met Sheila who wanted to learn to knit a jumper for her husband, which I ended up finishing by the way. Um, and then go into a couple of knitting groups and now I run two knitting groups called the Tall Bay Yarn Bombers with lots and lots of ladies coming along to knit and natter on a Wednesday and a Thursday. One at the Crafty Fox and one at the Lounge in Torquay. So now I know lots of people. <laughs> well, since getting involved in the Ageing Well group, I've met so many people and I've learned quite a few different skills. I can now upcycle furniture, I can do mosaics, and instead of being isolated and not being able to get anywhere, there's always somebody that's willing to pick me up, take me where I want to go, any hospital appointments I've got, there's always somebody volunteering to do it. So it's just gone from isolation to lots of company and lots of new friends and lots of new skills learned.